Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your boy Desmond Legacy Firearms Training back out here in the cave, ready to do another video. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is firearm storage. How do we store our firearms where they're not being used? This is a topic that I cover in my beginner's class. Be sure to check out the website, legacyfirearmstraining.com. Sign up for a class. But as gun owners, it's our responsibility to keep our firearms secure. So how do we do that? In another video, I covered the actual safeties on the gun, uh, the different types, but how do we store our firearms when we're not using them? So what I want to do is go over a few that I talk about in class and talk about long-term storage and short-term storage and uh, quick access and, uh, and things like that. And just show you some different ways that you want to think about when you purchase that firearm, um, how are you going to store it? All right, you need to know that when you purchase the firearm, go over a couple different um, things that I use for myself and some things that you might want to try out. So uh, stand by and let's talk about it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the different types of locks. And the most common uh, type of lock or the most common way that you're going to see uh, to secure your firearm is going to be a cable lock. So before you even walk out the store with that new gun that you done bought, that new Glock, because I know you guys are getting the Glocks, um, or a canic, you're gonna have a cable lock in the box, all right? Uh, if you're not familiar with the cable locks, this is what they look like. So it's gonna be a cable in the box. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna come in a package that looks like this, right? It's gonna either be under your cushions in your box or somewhere stored in your um, actual box with the firearm. So the way that these work, first thing, ensuring, we always ensure that a firearm is safe and secure, there's no rounds or anything like that before applying any type of lock to it. So you remove your surface of ammunition, there's no magazine in here, and then you lock the slide to the rear, make sure there's no ammunition, no rounds in the chamber, no magazine inserted, firearm is clear. So uh, this is my uh, Taurus Millennium G2, old school, yeah, I do own a Taurus. So a um, couple of them actually. So the way this would work, I will lock my slide to the rear once I verify that the firearm is clear. And I could feed this through the chamber, it's not through the chamber, but through the uh, ejection port and the magwell and secure it with the key, all right? So these come with a key. So I can secure it with this key and that way I cannot get a magazine inserted into this firearm and I cannot get around to the chamber, right? So this cable lock can also be fed through the actual muzzle or the barrel of the gun. I can feed it through the actual barrel loop it up through here and secure it with the key that way all right these can be used for pistols they can be used for um, shotguns they can be used for um, rifles also so and it, it would work just the same way you open up the breech or the um, the actual feed it through the ejection port through the mag well probably just do the ejection port for using a um, a shotgun a rifle or something like that and secure it with the key all right and again this is the most common way that you'll see to secure your firearm if this is all that you have keep it in a box that it came in and store it where only those who need access to it could uh, access that firearm so that is your cable lock so after your cable lock some guns do come with a trigger lock so this is just my cert pistol that i use in class all right so it's not a real gun uh, it's absolutely inert, cannot fire around. So with my trigger lock, this one came off of my Canik. They are, they have some like universal ones and stuff like this. So this one will fit on any trigger guard. So as you can see, this covers the trigger, so I cannot pull that trigger. All right. So again, make sure that there's no when you're putting these uh, safety measures on your firearm. Make sure there's no ammunition in the gun. All right. Safety check that gun first before you put this stuff on there. And never put a safety mechanism on a loaded firearm. Something like this or something like the uh, cable lock with a round in the chamber, something like that. So the way this works, again, you have a key. This one screws over my actual uh, trigger guard and covers that trigger so I cannot access it. So I cannot access it. All right. So it just covers that trigger. So it's just these two pieces clamped together over that trigger guard. Let's see if you can see that. And I'm able to screw it so I can't pull that trigger. You can't pull the trigger, gun's not gonna go bang, all right? Only way you can make that gun go bang is pull that trigger, all right? So can't pull the trigger, that is your trigger lock. Some guns do come with trigger locks in the box. Not a lot of them do that. Uh, provide trigger locks but canics I know they provide this particular one is a universal one that can go on pretty much any size uh, trigger guard so after your trigger locks you have your safes I don't have an example of a safe here uh, but with your safes your safes are considered long-term storage long-term storage so if you got long guns shotguns rifles a bunch of ammunition because you're ready for the zombie apocalypse 
and you got your safe route out there. So um, that's what the safes are good for, long-term storage. Uh, they can be accessed by either uh, turning the dial. You have your turn dial, you can punch in the code and stuff like that. But another layer of security you can add to your safe is bolted to the ground or bolted to the floor. You have that option to do that, to add that extra layer of security so you won't have uh, bad guys breaking your house and try to take your whole safe. Don't think just because you got this big Fort Knox safe that a group of bad guys, if they know you got guns, wait till you're on vacation and just go in there and take your whole freaking safe if they have time. Uh, bolting it to the ground, bolting it to the floor would add that extra deterrence. So uh, just something to think about. So after your safes, you have your uh, quick access gun cases, quick access gun, case, gun cases. So these are good for when you want to stage your firearms around your house or your nightstand gun or something like that. So this is one that I have for my um, uh, EDC gun or you know some other guns that I might have around the house. I like to store them in these. These are usually digitally, digitally access all right by punching in a code or something like this so right now this one is secured and i can just punch in a code i don't need to see my code right if i can punch it in right and then bam opens up like that and i have my my uh, edc my block firearm is clear the magazine is loaded but we're not going to put it in the gun or anything like that but magazine clear so this is great for uh, staging your guns around the house. So say you did want to keep it uh, loaded or something like that. You, you do have that option. It's up to you how you train, how you want to protect you and your family. Uh, but these are great. Uh, they're portable. Um, put it in your car. You see how quickly I can access that when you remember the daggone code. And um, they make some that have uh, RFD um, little fobs, key fobs. So I can rub it like this one has RFD key fob. I can run my key fob over here and it'll pop open for me. Uh, there are others that pop up that have lights in them and stuff like that. So this would be great for nightstand use. And you notice when I push the buttons, you didn't hear any beeps or nothing like that. So you can turn it off so the bad guy won't know that you're uh, opening up your safe or anything like that. So these are really good for um, staging your guns around the house. These would be more for quick access. Um, another one not so much for uh, quick access I would consider this long-term storage would be something like this so this one has like a three-digit uh, turnstile type lock has a three-digit turnstile type lock right so I would have to turn these numbers put them in a certain sequence whatever you make the combination in order for this and then turn this in order for this to actually open up all right so I can keep my firearm in here keep a magazine in here and secure it like that. This is good for your EDC, something that you're not gonna need in a hurry. Uh, come home at the end of the day, take your gun off, put it in here, put it wherever you're gonna put it, and then lock it up that way, all right? All these come with these um, cables, that way you can anchor it down to something that's secure. Uh, these are great for travel, so you end up someplace where you can't take your firearm into the, um, into the establishment or something like that, and your glove compartment doesn't lock. Have this, keep this in your car, excuse me, and uh, secure it with this. You just have to keep a padlock with you and you'll be good to go. And last but not least, you can store your firearms in plain sight. All right, you can store your firearms in plain sight and still keep them secure. So this is a dictionary. I know it's been a long time since anybody seen one of these, but this is what the dictionary looks like. But this is not only a dictionary, this is a gun case. All right, this wouldn't be considered quick access. This wouldn't be considered quick access because again, you have the key. But say you have a bookshelf or something like that, a coffee table, uh, you got books set out making you look all educated and stuff like that. So you have this out sitting on your table or on your bookshelf, but nobody ever knows that this is a uh, gun case, all right? Until they actually pick it up, feel that, hey, this ain't no freaking book, but who's gonna pick it up? Because we Google everything and ask Alexa and Siri and everybody else to look up words and how to spell them instead of actually going to a dictionary, you know? But it is what it is. But the main thing is secure your firearms, all right? Just secure your firearms. I don't care how you do it. Just um, make sure only those who need access to it can access those firearms. So again, this is just a quick overview of uh, different ways you can secure your firearms, things to think about. This you can get on Amazon, a Harbor Freight. It don't cost a lot. Um, read the reviews. I would highly suggest that you read the reviews on those, on the different models and stuff like that. And they do make TSA approved cases. So if you want to fly out your firearm, you can make, you can get a TSA approved case. So just think about that. All right. So, uh, I'm going to finish up and we're going to close out. All right. So, um, that was just a quick overview. Like I said, of some different ways to store your firearms. And again, it doesn't matter how you store them, just store them securely 
so um, accidents won't happen, all right? You don't wanna have someone uh, accessing that firearm who doesn't know what they're doing or doesn't need to have access to it and end up getting a hold of it and something bad happens. So secure your firearms, please. Uh, so just a few updates. Legacy Firearms Training is now doing uh, kids' handgun courses. So if you have somebody 12 and up that's interested in uh, learning more about firearms or you just want to get them uh, a little more acclimated to firearms and firearm safety, please uh, reach out to me, LegacyFirearmsTraining.com. Uh, the kids class is going every third Saturday of the month. Um, it's, a, it's pretty much my beginner's class. Uh, there's no loud fire, but they will get an opportunity to handle firearms in a safe environment and get a little more acclimated and uh, understand the safety rules a little bit better. And, um, and just having that knowledge, you know, I'm all, I'm all about passing on knowledge and teaching uh, anybody who wants to learn. And if you have guns in the house, you definitely want to get your kids um, uh, uh, able to understand how to approach a firearm if they do come across it, all right? So um, check out the website. Also, uh, my classes are only going on Saturdays now. I'm just doing Saturday classes. Uh, you can sign up for the website, sign up on the website, and I'm doing um, two classes on every fourth Saturday of the month. I'll be doing two classes in a day. So please check out the website. Uh, uh, check out me. Make sure you like, share, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, Instagram, all those social media platforms, please check me out. And as always, keep training, stay safe.